Hi, plebeians. Neil with the Balding Plebs. Now, recently I've been having a discussion with one of my IRL friends about the Resident Evil 4 remake. And I held it up and I showed it to him, you know, because I had picked it up for $20. And he said to me, he said, bro, you're just playing Resident Evil 4 remake now? And I was like, yeah. He's like, why would I buy it when it was 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks? I was like, that doesn't make sense. I just played that game like 10 years ago, right? Or whatever it was, 12 or, or 14 years ago or 2005 or whatever the hell it came out. 2005, oh my God, 2005, wow. Anyway, I just played that game then. And the thing is, I played it all through my college years. So I played it all through my 2010s, 2011s, even 2012s. And he said, well, how come you didn't buy the remake on day one? I told him, bro, I beat Resident Evil 4 like 15 times. I don't need to go back and beat it again for 50, 60, 70 bucks, right? And so him and I were just kind of talking about it. I said, I'm playing all these different games right now. Last thing I need to do is stack another remake on top of it. Now, some of you are probably going to say, well, Mio, how come you didn't do that with Resident Evil 2 Remake? How come you didn't do that with Resident Evil 3 Remake? Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3 are both significantly older games. They're both games that came out during that original PlayStation era. And, to be fair... I liked both of those games better than Resident Evil 4. So, <clears throat> for me, the Resident Evil 4 remake was never a game that I was like, holy shit, this is life-changing, bro. I need to rush out and I need to buy this remake right now. Oh my god. It was never like that for me. For me, it was like, oh cool, Capcom is remaking another one of the Resident Evil games. I'll get it when it's on sale. And I did that with Resident Evil Village, too. When Resident Evil Village was coming out, a lot of people asked if I was day wanting it. And even my brother was a little shocked when I told him I wasn't day wanting Village. Resident Evil Village didn't really do it for me. Didn't really blow my mind or anything. Um, I got Resident Evil Village, I think, for 13 bucks. Felt great about it. And I didn't have to rush to play it. And I didn't miss anything by not playing it on day one. So, what's the message here? There is a message. The message is... I had a friend... Who used to buy every new game day one. Now he's dirt poor... And he's got $30,000 in credit card debt. So my recommendation would be. If you don't need the game. None of us really need the game. But if it isn't a game that you absolutely have to play on day one. I mean like no questions. Like if it isn't like a Monster Hunter world. Or if it isn't like a original Horizon Zero Dawn. Or, I don't know. Any of those other just totally wild awesome games. Like, an like a God of War remake, right? Or like a God of War uh, 2018 or whatever year it was released. If it isn't one of those games... That you really got to have on day one to play on day one. Let these games go on sale, guys. They're all going on sale. Hell, you would have even been okay getting this at 30 or 40 bucks. Now, somebody's going to come out and they're going to say, Oh, Neo, you're just being cheap, bro. You're just, imagine being this cheap, bro. Imagine being this cheap. Oh my God. Imagine being this poor. Imagine being this poor. I always find it funny when I see those people in the comments, because those are the people I know for a fact are poor. <laughs> my, 
my recommendation to anybody struggling financially right now is to take a hint from this video. You don't need these games on day one. $20 is what I paid for a Resident Evil 4 remake. And I'm going to have the exact same gaming experience that you had if you paid 70 bucks. 20 bucks is what I'm paying. So I want you guys to take a message from this video. Money's tight right now. Times are tough right now. Things are, t things are difficult right now. Unless the game is a life-changing experience for you, there's absolutely no way to be, no reason to be buying the majority. That's the key word. Not every, the majority of games on day one. There's just too much risk these days. There's just too many outliers these days. There's too many Dustborns and Veil Guards and Shadows and all that other stuff going on right now. What you guys are better off doing is do your research, pick your games, find a game you really, really like, buy that on day one if you want, play the hell out of it, get 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 hours out of it, and all these other games that are coming out in the meantime, Silent Hill 2 remakes, the Resident Evil 4 remakes, um, what, whatever whatever else is coming out that you're excited for, but not mind-blowingly excited for, you let those games go on sale. Those are the ones you save 20, 30, 40 bucks on. You take that money, you invest that money, you grow that money, you use that money towards your bills, pay down your credit card debt, get your food, feed your family, take care of your business, kneel with a bald and pledge if you learned something. Like the video, comment below, you're welcome.